Hey folks, it's Mangrel here, and we're going to look at how you enable canvas mode on your new DJI O3 air unit. Now, if you're like me and you don't read the manual, and of course, you know, who, who needs manuals nowadays, right? We, we work on DIY quads, so we get right in there and get our hands dirty. So if you are like me, you would have probably set up your O3 air unit and then been surprised as to why you're not seeing the beautiful promised uh, DJI canvas mode. So first, let's start by looking at what canvas mode is. And this is straight from the manual, page 13. So canvas mode enables the flight controller to display OSD elements on the screen of the goggles. The elements outside of what you typically get on a DJI quad, what we've been seeing the last many, many years here. So this could be things such as uh, the warnings. So why did your quad fail to arm? You know, land now because of low battery, those kind of things you're able to now get them on there very easily and natively. So what do you need to actually make this work? First thing you need is Betaflight 4.3, which is the current version. I do have a video on how you can upgrade to Betaflight 4.3. Mine was based off of the release candidate, but same kind of steps. I'll link you in the video description. So once you've done that, all you have to do is follow a couple of very simple steps. So let's switch over to beta flight and I will show you how you can do this and then we'll do a quick test flight and make sure that it does work. So within beta flight, we're gonna connect to our quad. We're gonna start by checking a couple of configurations. First thing, we'll go under ports and we wanna check and see which UART is marked as MSP configuration. And really this is the UART that you have connected to your uh, air unit 03. So the, where do you connect your RX and TX wires? So that should be fairly straightforward. You're probably used to that from other installations, but you want to make note of this number. So for me, my number is three. Next thing you want to do, come under configuration, make sure the OSD is on. If I turn it off, I lose the tab here. So make sure it's on and then click save and reboot. Then we go under OSD. And here we have the ability of turning on which elements we want to display. So we can see I've only got a couple of things. I've got average cell voltage and warnings. So you'll turn those on, you'll move them to wherever you want. And just bear in mind that the goggle display doesn't exactly map to this. In my test flight, you'll see that this is in the corner, but on the actual goggle, it's about an inch inwards. So you have to play with that a little bit. You can't get it 100% exact, but it's pretty close. Once you've done that, you're gonna click on save, and then we're gonna go under CLI, and we're gonna simply copy over those two commands that are in the manual. So let me switch back to my manual. So I'm gonna copy this guy here, and even though it doesn't select, it will copy. So copy that, paste it in, enter. Let's switch, let's switch back once more. Next one, copy, switch over, paste. Now this number that we're putting in here, this was a number that we just looked at under the port setting. Um, number three is what I had. The important thing is it's that number minus one. So mine was three, I put in two, enter, save, your flight controller will restart and you should be good to go. So next time you fly, you should be able to see those OSD elements on your display. So let's go ahead and do a quick test flight and make sure it did work. And here you can see on our test flight, you are seeing the OSD elements. And the good thing with the O3 system is that it does record in the goggle DVR. So there you have it. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment. And I hope this video helped you figure out what's wrong with your OSD.